Hello everybody and welcome, well, welcome. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Totally Trendy. My name is Samantha and this is a place where I just attempt and try and have fun with all of the trends and challenges that the internet has to offer. And wow, it is hot in this office and it is hot in California. It's 86 degrees, which you might not think like, okay, yeah, like, I mean, that's, that's a hot summer day, but it is nine in the morning. It's gonna get to 104. So, perfect day for me to try these summer DIYs and hacks. It is a hot summer already and summer hasn't even technically started yet. It's gonna be a hot one. So I turned to the internet and saw the plethora of content that is summer themed DIYs. DIYs that like help you cure boredom because I know a lot of you guys are gonna be out of school this summer and some like little hacks that can make your summer life easier. Those are all of the DIYs slash hacks I'm gonna be testing today. These came from some some Instagram, some YouTube, some Pinterest. So we are just going to get into it. The goal of all of these is to be fun. That, that would be nice. And also to like make lives easier. Those are the two base requirements that I'm gonna be looking for from these. Is it fun or does it make my life easier? Let's get into it. Now this first one is gonna be pretty exciting. I feel like we have all seen this on Twitter. I am going to make cookies in my car. I'm doing this one first because it is pretty time sensitive. I got cookie dough, it's already like pre-made everything. I'm gonna put them on a pan and then put it on the dashboard of my my car. We have the cookies, so now it's time to just go put these in my car. <laughs> okay, the cookies are in the oven. Now, while those cookies are cooking, it is time to try a few more that are a little more hack related. So let's say you are at the pool, at the beach, playing with your super fun pool toy, beach ball, whatever it is, and then someone comes along and just does that. Like, that's not nice, but it happened, and now I'm sad and upset. But guys, this feels like an infomercial right now. But just you wait, because I found a nifty hack to fix this. You can simply iron the hole shut. This one makes logical sense to me. I don't even know where the hole is anymore, but you're supposed to find the hole and then kind of like fold it to make a seam and iron it and the iron will melt the plastic back together. Seems great, right? Let's see what happens. I just plugged in the iron. I have like parchment paper set up to iron on. So this is the hole. It's kind of hard to see. Oh yeah, no there. So we are just gonna iron that shut, I guess. We're gonna set it down on a piece of parchment paper, kind of fold where we need like the crease to be put a piece of parchment paper on top and then iron it so let's just melt this back together i guess all right so it's time to just reinflate this and see if it holds up two hours later so i was just gonna say like wow that worked so well but then i was trying to push this in and i heard so here's the thing this definitely works you just have to be so tedious because i think maybe i just missed a tiny hole there and there's another one there so if i sealed those this would so work it works it's a great way to repair a floaty so you don't just have to get rid of it especially if you already have an iron like i'm kind of upset about all of the pool floaties like the expensive like swan ones that i've gotten rid of because it had holes in them wish i would have just ironed it so thanks to five minute craft for this one. We are about to make rainbow jello watermelon. Yeah. Now this is just a really fun, colorful summer DIY, especially to do when you're bored or if you have a lot of downtime because like this is gonna take a while. But here's what you're gonna need. You need a watermelon and then you need all of the jello and gelatin in the world. That's what I have right here. So we got red, orange, yellow, blue, green. We don't got purple or pink because they didn't really have that and I also have a lot of packets of gelatin because as I've learned in the past with jello it can be very watery no matter how long you let it set for this because you want it to like stay in slices when you cut it it needs to be really firm so I'm gonna be adding an extra packet of gelatin to each of these packets 
set. First, we need to cut this watermelon and gut it out. All right, let's go to the kitchen to do this part because it's gonna be messy. It's just time to cut and gut this watermelon. Here we are, all cleaned out. It's really important when you're doing this that you try and get the inside as dried out as possible. So I've just been taking a paper towel and kind of like squeezing it. Cause if it's too wet, then the jello isn't gonna wanna stick to the sides, which is pretty important. So I'm taking the jello and the gelatin. So this came with four packs of gelatin. So I'm gonna use all of these for this one. And I'm just gonna do this consistently throughout all of it, just to make sure it's firm. Whoa, look at it like, look at it move. And so now I have my cup of hot water that I am going to stir in. And then we're gonna mix in the jello. The red jello is now firmly set in the watermelon. Mm. And so it is time to go ahead and make the orange one now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that, but let's go check on the cookies as well. We have like two things going on at the exact same time. I put the cookies in at like 10.30 and it's 1.20 now. So let's see how they're looking. Very hot. Those are not looking bad. They're definitely not like fully cooked yet. So I'm still gonna give them time, but like that big one's looking good. I'm probably gonna give those cookies like another hour, but let's make the orange and then we'll add in the orange and then we'll wait for that to set. This is a lot of waiting in today's video. So I have this all mixed now. The other important thing to remember is to not pour the hot one onto the one that's been cooled. Let this one cool first. It has been about four or five hours since I put the cookies in the car and I just walked by them outside. I think, I think they're ready. I mean, yeah. We got cookies. They look good. This is really hot, obviously, but they look good. 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 <laughs> like they look pretty though. Do they taste pretty? Perhaps. I don't know. What? They don't look bad. They don't look good. I can't get them off. Like I literally cannot get them off the pan. Oh, I can tell that it's no, it looks done. Oh. That looks very thoroughly cooked. It's so hot today, I'm not surprised. Okay, it feels like a petrified cookie. Do I try it? Should I try it? If, uh, I, if I dare. I don't know, on camera it still kind of looks like a normal cookie too. It probably cooked from the heat of the pan, so it cooked from the bottom up. Mm, so we're in a convection yeah. oven, it cooks like 360 around. Yes, that is So exactly. like everything cooked from the, the inside and then the top barely got cooked, but everything on the inside got like overcooked because it was yeah. just burning on this pan. That makes sense. I wanted to try this one because this one has chocolate chips. Yeah, that's a cookie. Oh, so good. I'm just gonna go for another one. A little, a little hard, bit. like yeah, just a little bit. Weirdly stale. Yeah, it tastes but stale. It's like fresh. But yeah, they taste kind of stale almost. It makes sense though with what you said. Cooks from the pan. Science. Uh, science. And hello again. Welcome back to day two of this video. We had to let the jello set last night. I wanted to let it set overnight so it would be really nice and firm for when we cut it. Oh man, I'm scared. It's time to go cut it. It is time to cut this open and see how the rainbow turned out. Oh, come on. So much You've got this. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that clean cut. <gasps> oh, wait. <my gosh. gasps> oh! 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 Yo! It works! Dude. It's kind of uneven, but it worked! Oh Red, orange, yellow, green, blue! So I cannot believe this. Look at how freaking cool that is! That looks so Look. cool. That is honestly so cool. It, it looks, looks really so cool. Pretty. Can I hold it? Yeah, you can have it if you want. Have it? Yeah. Like, I can take a bite of this. You want me to? Yeah. Because it's rainbow. So you got blue. I got the blue one. Yeah, what is it? Like blue raspberry, I'm assuming? It tastes like blue. It tastes like blue. <laughs> it just, it, like, you know how colors have a taste? Yeah. Tastes like blue. Taste the rainbow, am I right? You hear that sound? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look at how cool all of these turned out. I'm obsessed. Especially this one. It's so pretty. <laughs> No. I heard you like not. I, I, like, <laughs> Taste it. How is it? Taste the rainbow. Oh, the noises. <laughs> what flavors did you get? Dwarf. <laughs> they honestly don't taste like anything. 
<laughs> Joel, that was so <laughs> Well, yeah, have as much as you want. I am so happy with how that watermelon turned out. That was such a stressful process. I know what definitely made it work was adding the extra gelatin. Do not do it if you don't have extra gelatin. And the thing that could have definitely made it better is if I really, really, really dried out the watermelon rind. Go ahead, it was so, so cute. So this hack works. I am so happy that all of these little DIYs and hacks that I tested today actually worked out. So hopefully you guys have fun applying them to your lives this summer. I will see you guys in the next video.